Addiction can ruin not only your own life, but it affects your family members' lives as well, which is why Legacy Village Recovery Centers and Sober Living is dedicated to helping people get clean and rebuild their legacy by giving them the tools to live an improved life without substance abuse. Here to share more, we have the Chief Executive Officer of Legacy Village, Dennis Farmer, joins me now. Dennis, great to see you. Thank you. Very nice to be here. Legacy Village, tell us where it is and what you guys are about. Uh, right now, our locations are in Bakersfield, um, and we're a full service company that provides residential treatment, uh, outpatient treatment, and sober living services to anybody who struggles with drug or alcohol abuse issues. Yes, and you are very familiar with this because you yourself are a recovering alcoholic. I'm, I'm Is that a right? grateful recovering alcoholic. Yeah. Uh, I took uh, some time to get there, but very proud of my own recovery, and it was mm -hmm. something that has lent me uh, to have a passion for this industry. And I think people feel more comfortable knowing <clears throat> that the chief in charge has been in their shoes before. Yeah, and, and actually about 85 to 90 percent of our staff are also in recovery themselves. The overwhelming majority are. It helps tremendously with uh, interacting with the clients on a one-on-one -on -one level so that they understand that our employees, our staff, our clinicians, uh, they've been there. They yeah. have been exposed to, to the same issues themselves and they're best equipped to help them deal with their recovery. Because yes. how can you really know unless you've walked that journey? Yeah. And so tell me how you built your program based on your experience and others. Uh, we went through and, and, and like I said, we're a fully uh, full service company. We are licensed by the Department of Healthcare Services. We're accredited by the Joint Commission which is the highest level of accreditation you can get. And we've built a program around individualized care. Mm -hmm. uh, we want to be able to take and go through and assess each person, uh, what their specific needs are, set them up with the right amount of therapies and counseling sessions, uh, group sessions, whatever it is. We, we like to cater to the individual. So it's not a warehouse or it's not a, it's not a, a cookie cutter yes, yes, yes. You know, uh, set up for everybody. It definitely is individualized care for the person. What do you say to those folks, Dennis, who, oh, I don't have a problem or, oh, no, I don't need that. I mean, I feel like there is a lot of denial when it comes to substance abuse. It is. You know, I experienced that myself. It's one of those things where a lot of times just because you've got a car in the driveway and the bills are paid, uh, you think that you can go home and drink every night and then all weekend long uh, or use this substance or that one on a quote unquote recreational basis. Um, but at the end of the day, if it's impacting your relationships, your family, your work, if it's beginning to show signs, then there's there's a significant problem. I think people don't realize how much it affects your kids, your wife, your spouse. And, and a lot of times I feel like people think they can hide it well and yes. they can't. No, <laughs> no. It, it, a lot of people know long before you do. Um, that, that is definitely the case. And, and the other thing is there's a huge stigma that exists that it's the low income population. It is the homeless population that struggles with this issue. That's such a minimal percentage. Uh, the overwhelming majority of people who struggle with addiction issues are your working professionals. Mm -hmm. It's your neighbor. It's mm -hmm. somebody in your church. Yeah. Uh, it's your family members. It's your coworkers. Um, and that's something that really is important and, and really something Legacy believes strongly in is getting that out to, to get rid of that stigma. Right, right. That stigma is what keeps people from getting help. Yes. As I said before, the secrets will kill you and that is the truth. So on that note, how can folks find out and get to Legacy Village? How does one sign up? Sure. Uh, well, our website's available, of course, at www.legacyvillagellc.com. Um, our numbers, I believe, are, are on the screen as well. Uh, you reach out and you ask the questions. Um, you know, it, it's one of those things where if you're not sure, call and ask the questions. Mm -hmm. We have licensed clinicians on staff who can assess your situation, mm -hmm. who can talk to you and your family. We, uh, we uh, welcome family involvement because yeah. it's an important component to this process. Um, and then we can do those assessments and of course get them set up to do an intake if it's necessary. And so residential treatment would be where you stay at the facility, is that right? Correct, residential facility is usually where we'd like to start, especially if you've got years worth of abuse, you're not gonna overcome that by sitting in three or four hours worth of class a day and then going back to that element. Yeah. So the residential program is a 21 to 28 day stay uh, that really kind of lets you reset your life. It's in a uh, controlled environment mm -hmm. that's a, a very uh, nurturing environment to be able to kind of get you some basic information on how to deal with addiction, how mm -hmm. to deal with mm -hmm. substance abuse. And then from there, you can step down to outpatient levels of care or to sober living and things like that. I, I think it's so f interesting that you mentioned it's not like you just snap your fingers and one night you're cured. I no. mean, this is a lifelong, maybe some really deep stuff. It is. So perhaps spending the night in that residential center will help. It is. 
is. It, it, you know, and it's one of those things. There are a lot of programs out there that are year-long programs for certain fits or, or six-month programs. Not everybody who's in a working situation can do that. Somebody who's a teacher or an attorney or is in a professional setting or, you know, uh, anything like that, they aren't able to make that kind of a commitment. They've got families and children and things. So we really try and pack a lot into that 21-28 yeah. day stay and then have a lot of follow-up care so that we're able to get these people on the right path. And I actually think it's a plus that you're located in Bakersfield because I think a lot of folks here in Fresno and the Central Valley, I mean, Bakersfield is not that far, sure. but it's also far enough to where you're kind of out of your regular environment. Tell us why that's important. Well, there is a lot of stigma behind this. There's a lot of, uh, until you get past the initial steps, there's a lot of fear that's involved. And so taking you out of that initial environment, taking you out of your home environment and giving you a safe space where you're not going to run into somebody at the grocery store. You're not going to run it into somebody when you run out to the, you know, to the store for whatever reason. Those are things that, that really kind of lessen your stress level while mm -hmm. you're going through this really difficult process. Yeah. And uh, I think that that's important. Some people are comfortable right in their own backyard, but for those who aren't, which is a majority, mm -hmm. it's nice to be able to get away and it's not that far. And to focus on yourself during this time. Exactly. And, and I, I love your name, Legacy Village, because it is all about recreating your legacy. It is. And leaving something that you're proud of by exactly. becoming a better person and improving your life. Once again, everybody, Legacy Village, that's what they stand for. That's the mission behind their philosophy of recovery. And we're so glad, Dennis, that you made the trip to tell Thank us you. all about it. Appreciate it. Thank you. Stay with us, everybody. We're back right after this.